Good evening. Um, today's Wednesday, Wednesday night. I got here really late. Uh, I have had an opportunity to get out here during the week because I got everything done at home. Uh, so I'm actually working, staying here Wednesday night and working Thursday, Friday, maybe even Saturday. The reason why is I'm going to get started on the floor. Um, and once you get started on this section with the insulation and the subfloor, you kind of have to finish it before you leave. I just started my fire. I'm getting really good at it. So I'm debating on having a beer or hot chocolate because <laughs> it's cold. It's going to get down to about 50 degrees. Hmm, beer or hot chocolate. Hmm. Good morning. Wow, it got down to 52 degrees. And I used two sleeping bags. Ooh. It's going to stay pretty cool today, which is nice. It's a Thursday morning. Uh, time to get up and make some coffee. I picked up my uh, French press from Walmart, and now I see it. On the side, it's it's not filtering. It's just letting it all kind of flow through. So I'm getting so many damn floaties. Walmart. Today it's going to be kind of cool. I think uh, the high temperature is like 77. So hopefully it's going to be a pleasure working on the house today. Also. I've been spending too much money getting to the property and staying here with food and, you know, grabbing something to eat on the way and nickel and dimes me to death. So I went to the store and I bought enough for breakfast and lunch <clears throat> for a couple days, even though it may be the same thing over and over. I don't, I don't care. So I have to work on trying to get the expenses down. You know, uh, that's something you might want to factor in. I'm going to be here for three days. Because, um, like I mentioned before, once you start this portion of it, you, you can't stop. It's got to be finished. Because I have to seal the deck, uh, the top, uh, with some linseed. Because if moisture does get in, it will warp it and bend it and uh, it will ruin it before I can get back out here and and get started on framing. It's cloudy today. First time I've cooked breakfast here on the homestead. I'm not really a breakfast person, but eh, I can be. I think I put my table on way uneven ground. I tend to do my egg scrambled anyway. Do not like my scrambled eggs runny. Yeah. as a little boy isn't most little boys their dream is to live this way it's kind of in our souls you born in a city you want to get out born in a country depending on how you raise you want to go to the city mm, that's good sausage doing dishes bullshit This is the beam that goes around, or the frame. And then this here, well, it's it's above it. So when I go to put the floor down, 
you know, I am concerned that this will cause a problem. You know, so I'm thinking it has to be kind of shaved down a bit. But when I put the boards over top, now I think about it, when I put the boards over top for the framing, that's going to kind of cover that up a bit. I guess what I need to find out is I'll, I'll put a level leveler through a few of these and see if it's leveled this way. I guess that's what's that's what's important. All right, this here it's one of the worst ones. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on this board here. I'm going to look and see right where it's it's dead center. Okay. get it perfect it's right there so that is leveled from this beam let me see there okay I can now see a line going through there and then it's roughly right about there so I can shave that off and that uh, will make my life a lot easier. Oh. <sighs> well, my neighbor to the rescue once again. He just came out and saw what I was doing and saw my dilemma and he knows that I really need to shave that the best I can. Um, we put a leveler across a few of the beams and that one that I was shaving, he just saw was way too high. I mean the leveler like it's a teeter-totter. So he says he has one of those hand shaving things. He's going to go look for it. He says we can probably take like an eighth of an inch off at a time and get it down to where it needs to be. So we'll give that a try. Okay, so my neighbor and I, we threw some brackets. First, we squared it off. And what we did here is we went ahead and squared half the house first and got that perfectly squared. And then we're going to go ahead and set the brackets in. These are the brackets that I got. Um, we're going to put roughly about six nails in each one. And this is just a mainly hold it down to the base and hopefully uh, if a big wind comes it doesn't lift off the base and blow it away so every other board is going to get one and on the opposite side so we got every other board is going to get a brace but then on the other side we will have the opposite boards getting a brace so bottom line is each board will have its own brace on the opposite side and if I'm not comfortable with that I'll go get some more brackets and I'll just do them all all right done with the uh, braces you can see here we got a brace there and then I skipped every other other one so in other words we have a brace there then on this side it's skipped but I have the brace down there next to the can and so I did each one all the way down now in the day I guess what they did is they took their nail gun and they put a nail in here and then on the other side uh, so I'm considering you know, since I have an air gun, it won't take very long. Any place that doesn't have a bracket, I can do that and give it, you know, maybe the best of both worlds. Okay, so I picked up this uh, insulation foam, and it's a pest block as well. It's probably just a marketing thing. They're all probably pest blocks. Um, and that's to fill up some gaps that I think uh, the insects might be able to get into underneath the house. Um, also, before I get really get too far along on the insulation, 
since I have the rest of the day, I'm going to wind up, uh, I think I'm going to crawl underneath because there are some places where the hardware cloth didn't actually come together and I couldn't staple it. So I got some extra, so I should be able to crawl underneath there, staple it into those few spots that uh, didn't come together, just to ensure that no insects is going to get up in there and ruin everything. <laughs>